I think the advent of the fuel cell and the hydrogen economy means the end of pollution. And that, to me, is the great blessing. But I think the world has got the message. The message is there is a clean source of energy that we can use. We can make this, we can make this work. We can do without pollution. We don't have to have all of the problems that we are f projecting as the rest of the world comes on stream. So my feeling is it, it's happening far faster than I would ever have dreamed of. And I think the bottom of the problems we have is that everybody wants it tomorrow and we haven't, the technology just hasn't caught up yet. We've got a lot of work to do. Right now, 12% of the world has access to a vehicle. And it wasn't very hard 15 or 20 years ago to see the sleeping giants of China and India and Malaysia waking up. And that's the other 88% of the people. The thing that we need to really understand about what's happening to us is that this whole drive to increase our consumptions of energy are being driven by the communication world. It's the satellite communication that is beaming down uh, the sitcom from United States and Canada into the realms of Malaysia and India and China that are exciting three quarters of the population to say this is how the rest of the world lives. This is how 12% of the world lives. I would like to live that way too. And there's a huge incentive in these major countries to want to increase their standard of living. Well, standard of living is directly cor correlatable with energy per capita consumption. And if we let this, the, the, the other 88% of the population come on stream with the same standard of living that we're used to, Mother Earth will just die in its own pollution. We have to have a better means of providing that energy because the communications world is saying to the rest of the world for the first time, they're seeing what it's like to have unlimited energy to use.